All right, one more live commentary. Generally, when they develop early again, the idea is c4, queen b3. And now he needs to watch out for the strategy of just pushing and pushing. For example, here. Thanks to the pin, you can't take it. Of course, he could take here, forcing me to take here and take his bishop. Okay, let's see. I think I want to. I want to save that bishop on that diagonal. How do I keep my my little bishop? Um, I could also just develop. Well, those doubled pawns actually aren't all that good. Is there a way for this to be useful? I don't know why people would offer a draw in this position. Um, there's so much play left. I mean, he obviously, I guess, wants to play for rating points, but I don't know if... Or he doesn't like his... I don't know. I mean, I don't know what it could mean on here. I mean, I could see not wanting to play out a fairly even ending, but this is... This is so early. Okay. So, how do we do this? Well, castling can never be wrong. Neither can putting a rook on a half open file when the pawn's backward. So his knight is, is finally liberated, sort of. Um, but now I'm going to start, I'm going to break through in the center pretty soon with f5. So, actually, maybe he needs to try to avoid f5 with something like g6. Yeah, that actually might be his only his only way to stay in it. So, problem for well, I need to be careful here. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna try to double on the uh, double here. Um, can I just give? No, I want to keep that pawn. Oh no, I blundered. Gave up the h3 pawn. That actually is is a problem for me. Yeah, that's that's a big problem. That makes my life a lot more difficult. He's gonna be obnoxious and keep offering me draws, so that's nice. Um, Now, though, I'm threatening knight takes d5, so I have to see how he handles that. 
Um, check. Night takes. Spawn takes. Check. There. Hmm. You gotta decide how I want to play this. Is there a winning tactic here? Um. Check. There. Hmm. 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 Well, we'll see what happens. If I blunder and he swindles me, and then he's probably gonna gloat because he's been offering draws. Um, but, you know, chess needs to be entertaining. So, hope you enjoy. This actually might... Oh, no, this is good. Check. King there is pretty much forced. There, check. Oh, surprising. Um, wow, that's a... Kind of a weird one. Um... Okay, well I gotta don't wanna get mixed up here. Let's take the rook. It's always right to take material. And then let's take here. Okay, now now we need to think a little more carefully again. Bishop there, f3, takes, 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 and this pawn hangs, and I should be up in exchange. Uh, we'll see. I want to analyze this game after, though, because I'm pretty sure he should have actually just taken. Okay, that, that strikes me as not the best way to play it. Um, Okay, so he now he has a very difficult position, I think. He has a pawn for the exchange, but his king is going to prove to be very vulnerable. Okay, here... I'm threatening rook over check and pushing this pawn, and his knight can't really get out. It's going to have to be misplaced for a move. Check. Yeah, so now... Well, I do need to find productive discovered checks, though. So, there, check, hmm, oh, I'm so low on time, I seem to play.
Okay, so he forfeited on time. Um, justice was served. Um, I take it to be poor etiquette to offer your opponents repeated draws in those kinds of positions. Um, just because it's a little bit distracting and like it's a clear middle game and it's a clear I have no intention of accepting a draw. Um, he also offered one when he was losing. But, um, okay, my position... I need to I need to review these positions a little more. Um, maybe not. I think I think knight f three is actually a slightly better finesse. Um, but oh well, wait. Let's let's get my copy of one with the London system out. Um, this will be my last. Um, live commentary for the day. Okay, Slav approach. C6. Uh, yeah, they seem to pretty uniformly favor knight f3. Um, yeah, okay. So, let's see here. There. C4. E6. Uh, there. Queen b6. Alright, logical. Um, may, maybe instead knight d2. But whatever. I thought this, I feel like this gives you. A, a6 is a mistake. I think he just missed that it was the pin. Um, instead, maybe he needs to do something. Well, that doesn't quite work, but he needs to reserve his option to play that if I play b5. So maybe something like this. I think the point being if here he plays. Uh, well, pawn takes. Well, yeah, this is this is tricky for him. Um, but maybe knight f6. a6, though, doesn't really... Just I think it just loses time. Because now I think I have a very comfortable position. It's hard for him to untangle. It's hard for him to get central counterplay because of this pin. I'm just going to play knight c3, knight f3, castle, and play in the center. Which is what happened in the game. Um, in light of that, maybe just h3. I looks a little... We well, no, I think this is fine. Maybe, you know, instead of this, I was thinking about something like this. And then if he wants to take here, you know, this these pawns will be a little bit weak, especially if he, he can't really castle. And I'm just going to play knight f3, sink in d5, or play things like knight f3 and b4, b4 b5. Um, so that was another way I could have taken it. Allowing the doubled pawns, though, Seemed okay. F3. Um, what was I thinking about at the time? I can't I can't really remember. Um, maybe there were times when he could have tried something like this. Uh, and the question being, well, actually, I don't even have to do that. I could just probably play here, exploit this backwards pawn, and then he's in a lot of trouble. I guess he could try this, but... First of all, that allows my, my uh, bishop back. So... I don't know. Maybe maybe he could have thought about something like that. Um, castle. There. Here. I mean, this is all not surprising. And then here. The point is, if he moves anywhere, this move is is going to crush him because he, this square becomes too weak. If he take, you know, if he takes the bishop by his take, take, take here, takes with the pawn, take here, try something like that. Obviously, I take on passant, and there's no way to defend that pawn. So after that. Pretty much g6. G6 is pretty much forced. Um, and now I decide, well, I should probably double. Okay. Now that move, though. May, may, you know, maybe I needed to play more patiently, though. Instead of that move, just here. With the point being, um, if he plays bishop h6, I'll play g3. He really has no active plan, um, just because he's so tied up. He, I guess he could try for b5, but again, I think this a6 pawn becomes too weak. So, you know, I just play here... If this here and uh, bide my time, you know he can try this, but I think I'll be pretty comfortable just playing. Got to be a little bit careful here and watch out for g5. Um, and first of all, if he plays, you know, if he moves and I take here, this is now pinned. Um, but you know, I'm just going to double here, and uh, it's hard for him to break. And I think that's going to be good. So maybe that would have been a little more patient instead. Dropped a pawn, um, but in hindsight, also this this gives him a lot of trouble. Uh, okay, this though has got I'm pretty sure now is a mistake. 
Um, I think stronger was the immediate here. Um, if takes, takes, as in the game. If, oh, no, not that. If here, this move, um, and I think he's going to take here, take here, take here, take, um, take, and then this, this pawn drops at the end of all that. And he maybe has some, some play with his rook on the open h file, but I don't, I don't think it's going to be too much. So I probably should have played that. Um, and that, that, you know, again, this, this pawn, and then he, he can't even defend it really because this drops and then he's just absolutely crushed. So instead I, uh, misplayed it a little bit and allowed, well, he did, he didn't play as strongly as he could have, but essentially this is a mistake. Um, what I missed is that when he takes here, this bishop defends his pawn. So first, you know, obviously if he takes, I'm going to take his rook. Um, but here, the point, the, my thought was this. Here, okay, so if he comes here, obviously he's in a lot of trouble. Um, I think I force mate with that move. Um, and the other rook is coming in. So the only move is here. Now here, though, I can't quite force mate because... He just ha he just barely scrapes by. Um, first of all, there's this bishop, so maybe maybe the move is is something like this. Um, so how much material am I down? I'm down a piece. Um, the problem is, I wish if I could check, and he couldn't interpose, it would be a different story. But he can. I mean, he has both the knight move and this move, and the knight move also means that I couldn't do this, and then you know try something, and also. I thought this would just win a piece, so I thought I could, or pretty much win a piece, so I thought I could bail out and just pick that up, but it doesn't because his bishop defends now. So the only other possibility is something like this. The problem being, though, first of all, he plays rook up, and now I don't have the same mate because his king can come here. Well, maybe. Well, but, but, but his king instead, slightly better, would be this move. And the point is that I don't have the same mate because before the knight was controlling that square. So, tragedy. Um, so none of that quite, it doesn't quite work. And so instead, maybe something like this. Um, and maybe I'm, no, that, that, it's not quite good. Well, takes, takes, and now this pin is real. Um, so I'm threatening to take, and I'll restore material balance, but he also probably has this. Well, actually, in that case, I'll just maybe play here. Takes. And then I have, what, three six pawns to six pawns, but I think I'm slightly better. It is an opposite card, bishop ending, but his king is weak. So, actually, maybe the sacrifice turned out to be accurate. Um, you know, only move after the surprising, this move, and the other point is that, obviously, here I'll take it, here I take it, um, here, f3, probably, takes, 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 and once again, the pin. This pin is very much alive. Um... And so, yeah, so it turns out actually the sacrifice, is, the sacrifice works. Well, that's good, because intuitively I thought it looked very powerful. Um, but let me know what you think. It's a really interesting sacrifice. Um, so here, okay. Maybe, maybe there's a different way to play this. I think just grabbing the materials. I mean, I kept looking for some sort of really nice finesse, but I think just take it. The point being is that, although maybe after all this, maybe better would be... No, because I wanted to open up his king, that's right. So when I took here, now it's going to ensure that in some lines this f file is open, like in the game, when I went here. There again, I think he missed a chance for a slightly better position with this. Check. Um, well, although... Actually, this, this seems about the same. Only slightly better for me. Um... Okay, here, here, you know, I'm, I'm up the exchange for a pawn, but I think the bigger factor is how weak his king is. 
instead of that, I, w I was trying to think about something, you know, like this check. Um, and then here, oh, actually, maybe, maybe that was pretty strong. I missed that I'm hit. Well, I saw that, but I, for some reason, wasn't thinking it'd be as good. So, so actually, yeah, I should have played. Instead of that, this move. Okay, and then if he comes over, we see a check here, pick up the bishop, and probably trade rooks, and I have just a winning ending. Um, well, let's let's be extra sure. Um, oh, I'm also forcing mate with a very cute mate. Nice. Okay, well, that would have been it's beautiful. So, well, he does have that move. So then... I do feel like... Is there a mate here? No. So then I would just take this. Let's see. Probably rook takes is the most. Well, either way, I'm gonna, probably going to trade. All right, let's just say this move here. There's not some finesse where I can win his rook. No. That was the whole point of that move. Okay, here... And then if I could defend this this pawn conveniently, life would be better, but maybe just b3. b3, you know, here, take, push the pawns. I'm up in exchange. I should have an easy win. Or a win. Um, so that, that, actually, that would have been very nice. Um, so he can't come over. So then he's got, if you know, if he plays, you know, any, anything like this is, is going to be met by something like that, and that's a lot of trouble. Um... Maybe he... Well, no. He actually probably does not survive this. Um, if nothing else, I can check. Yeah, that would. this actually would have been even stronger. Um, and, you know, this. if he takes here, I just play knight takes pawn check. Um, if he plays there, probably knight takes pawn still. See, so, yeah, that would have been even, even easier. Um, but this also has a lot of threats. Check. You know, check. Check. I do wish there was a sharper, you know, more Check. elegant way to finish this, but you know, this Check. this is this is trouble for him. Um, obviously, I was very low on time. Was another factor, and then check, check. and now check. I also missed this move. Check. Um, but this this also is pretty good. Check. 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 And then so you forfeit. So an interesting game. Um, you know, I think I had a very nice bind out of the opening. Um, let me know what you think. The knight knight takes d five may have actually been a mistake, but but I found what looked like to be pretty promising play with it. So I think in definitely a blitz game at least it was good. Let me know what you think.